Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Craig's Stuff. My name is Craig and this is some of my stuff. We have here not a new Star Wars Black Series figure, but one of the older Star Wars Black Series figures before the Force Awakens relaunch with the new packaging and the Force Awakens figures, obviously. Um, one of my favorite characters, uh, just because I love the Bounty Hunters, IG-88. Really not much he does in the movie, but he just kind of stands there. But uh, obviously, Expanded Universe, he's cool. But he's one of the Bounty Hunters, whatever. I picked this one up at my favorite comic book store, Zap Comics. So make sure you go to Zap Comics, get some uh, awesome action figures, comic books, all that awesome stuff. Basically everything cool. Just the, the best stuff. The best stuff you can get at Zap Comics. But that's enough talk about that. Let's take a look at the box. You have this nice window front with the thing of IG-88 at the top with the blue stripe. This is the second version. The original ones had uh, an orange stripe. He's actually number 15. I believe he's one of the last figures before the relaunch. There's nothing on this side. Window continues there. Window's up top there. And on the back, there's that kind of picture of IG-88 there. And you know what? There is no bio or no uh, quote or anything. Um, usually they have a quote, I guess, because he doesn't talk. So uh, how about we uh, pop this sucker open? Alrighty, here is IG-88 out of the packaging, and he looks really, really cool. But before we talk about him, let's talk about the accessories he comes with. First up, you get this rifle. I believe this is supposed to be the rifle he uses from The Empire Strikes Back. When uh, when you first see him, he's just holding a rifle. Um, it looks really nice. It's very well sculpted. There's just no paint apps at all, and I just always wish they could have put a little bit of detail with the paint. Maybe even just in, you know, in the the butt of the gun. Or, the uh, the trigger area where you hold it I don't know just a, just a little bit maybe in the scope just uh, just a little bit to give it a little bit more um, oomph and then you get this much smaller gun it's very well sculpted but again there is no paint apps at all I just wish they did some kind of detail on both the guns but there is a peg hole on the bottom both guns have the same peg hole and they're actually used to plug into uh, the hand on IG-88 so there's a peg on him right here and you just take it you stick it into the peg hole and that way he can actually hold the gun because these hands really are not made for holding the gun and last he comes with this blade it's some kind of knife or axe or whatever but uh, the sculpt is nice I like how they gave it that worn look made it look like it's actually been used in battle the silver paint is nice and so is the uh, the gold paint they used on there. So at least this has some painted detail. There is supposed to be a peg on a peg hole on here, as you can see there. But it was never really cut out, I guess, in manufacturing. So when you try to stick it into IG-88's hand, it doesn't fit. So I'll show you right now. There is no way of that going in. It's just not it, the hole is just not cut out. So, that stinks. Alrighty, so now let's take a closer look at IG-88 himself. The overall sculpt of this figure is absolutely gorgeous. There's so much detail, all this wiring and parts and all that kind of stuff. It all looks absolutely amazing and the paint just looks incredible. They use that copper and bronze and gunmetal tones all throughout and it looks great. I love the use of red paint in those holes on his head. His backpacks looks really nice. It can hold both his blade and one of the guns. The rest of his body, I, I just love that use of gun metal, copper, bronze, whatever it is. It just all looks really nice. And from the back, you can see his backpack better. Look at the straps on his backpack. They look really nice with those buttons. His butt, all like the wires metal nonsense that he's made out of looks really well done now if you wanted his backpack is actually removable you just have to pop it right out of the peg here on the top 
and you could take it off but I'd rather just keep it right there in the peg and it hold, holds it in nicely like that also like I said before his gun and his blade can fit into his backpack the blade can slide right in to the top portion and you can fit one of the guns into this bag holster thing as well. Now surprisingly enough IG-88 has a lot of articulation. You get of course head motion on the top. His chest actually goes up and down here. Arms go all the way up to about there. You can spin them around here. So you can even get them all the way up there like that if you wanted them to. Or like that. Um, I noticed his arms and legs and most of his body is made of a more pliable material so it does kind of move around. He does have an elbow joint but it is covered by this piece of little little piece of rubber so you can't get too much out of it but almost at a 90 degree angle. He spins at the upper chest as opposed to the waist. You get an upper thigh swivel and if you want you can take the whole piece and swivel the top too. His legs go all the way up to about there, all the way back as well. He has a double jointed knee. His feet spin. There is no pivot, but they go back and forth. His legs do not go out to the sides at all though. That's a little bit of a disappointment. Also because of this pliable material his legs are made with, he does not seem to stand extremely well. You can get him to stand, obviously I did but it's not super easy, as you can see. IG-88 stands pretty tall, a little under seven inches. Alrighty everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button. You can leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more videos. Check out my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Check out nerdappeal.com. All those links are in the description box. I will see you guys next time. Later!